Moin, I'm Catherine and today I'm in bed with another Top 5 Wednesday video. I'm going to leave everything about Top 5 Wednesday in the descriptions and this week's topic is a very easy topic, very difficult topic. It's books that you're thankful for, for whatever reason, big or small. I'm going to cheat the hell out of this um, because there might be slightly more than five books lying around here. But um, I think I have like some together a few books under one reason that I'm thankful for them. So bear with me. I'm going to start with the obvious ones, which are Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran for My Year of Meats by Ruth Oseki. Ruth Oseki. <laughs> and We Are All Completely Besides Ourselves by Karen J. Fowler. If you do not know this by now, this book will tell you why it's not good to eat meat, but in a very personal, non-judgmental way. And this is a novel that um, goes into the same topic from the view of somebody who had never thought about meat consumption and meat production. She's producing a show that's promoting meat and during the run of this show, she comes to the conclusion that eating meat is not good. And this has something to do with animal experiments. I'm not going to say more, but for the same animal rights reasons, I have put those three together in the category books that I'm thankful for because of promoting to let animals live their lives peacefully. I think I'm going to hop into a very brighter mood. This is by far not the best book I've ever read. This is a very easy YA novel, um, Audrey Wade by Robin Benway. But it somehow caught me in the right mood when I read it. And I thought it was hilarious. It made me feel really good. It was fun. And somehow, for, out of all the YA books that were fun for me, this totally stuck in my mind. And that's why I'm thankful for this one. The next one is, this is the German version, The Submission by Amy Waldman. And this is also a book that very stuck in my mind. I think it's brilliantly clever. It covers a lot of topics, very good feminism, racism, the power of the media. Um, it touched me in a very clever way. And that's why I'm thankful for this one. So here's the next cheat. Here are three novels that just touched me, touched me, touched me on a very deep personal level. I don't know why, but they will always be in my mind. If you ask me for a book to read that will touch you, I will always recommend one of those three, or probably all of them to you, um, which is The Time Traveler's Life by Audrey Niffenegger. I have a whole book talk about this with um, Ryan O'Reilly. Um, honestly, if you haven't read this and don't know what it's about, just really do it. What I love by Serial History, and I think I also talked about this in a lot of my videos, so I'm just going to link some of them. I have to go to work, I have to go to work, I have to get this video ready. And then the next one, I think I'm constantly, constantly, constantly plucking Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Carol Rivka Brandt, which also, the most, uh, this is um, my most recent read of those, although I reread The Time Traveler's Wife for the book talk. And I think that was my third time of reading The Time Traveler's Wife. Tell the Wolves I'm Home I'm Afraid to Read Again because it touched me so much the first time around. It's about this girl and her uncle dies and she has to somehow confront her feelings about him and what she discovers about his life that she didn't know. And it's just so beautiful. And I cannot do a top five Wednesday video 
about books that I'm thankful for without mentioning my favorite or one of my favorite authors, which is Scarlett Thomas. And I really cannot tell you why, why I chose this for this video. Just when I was going through the list of my favorite books, I stuck with this. But basically, almost all of her novels. There's one novel I like less than all the others, but basically, Scarlett Thomas, I'm thankful for you. And here comes the mega cheat. Um, this was like, I mean, if you go with me on the taking three books for one theme, um, here's the sixth thing, because also I cannot go without mentioning The Discworld by Terry Pratchett, because I listened to it like the whole thing, how many are there, 49, 50, something like that in the span of maybe half a year and I was not feeling very good that time and this really helped me because it's fun and entertaining and clever and I'm very very thankful for that. And although I'm in a hurry to get to work I have to take the time to tell you I'm thankful for you. I mean, I'm thankful for Julia behind the camera, but I'm also thankful for you who are watching this. From the bottom of my heart, I mean it. And I'm even more thankful if you consider some time to not buy your books online, but go outside, meet some nice people and support your local book dealer. Hi, I'm in bed with Wakey Wakey. Today, as we just talked um, about you at the Reaper Barn Festival, today yes. we are talking about a book. I love that. It's Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. 